Well, tonight, eight local restaurants are taking aim at Dr. Amy Acton and Governor Mike DeWine. The businesses have filed a lawsuit challenging the guidelines set in place by the state for them to operate during the pandemic. Our Will Uick reports. We understand the seriousness of COVID-19, and, and that's not what this case is about. It, that does not suspend our constitutional rights. Tom Connick is representing the eight restaurants in Northeast Ohio that are suing Governor Mike DeWine and Dr. Amy Acton, saying their guidelines for reopening are too vague and unconstitutional. It requires them to enforce these guidelines, these vague guidelines, on their patrons. And if they don't successfully do it, then they are subject to strict criminal liability. The restaurants involved in the lawsuit include Bar 30, Great Road Tavern, Town Hall, Harry Buffalo, Islander Bar and Grill, and others. There isn't a perfect precedent that's going to answer all the questions here. Case Western Law Professor Jesse Hill says it'll be an uphill battle for the businesses because states have a pretty broad authority when it comes to public health emergencies, but the courts will have to look to past pandemics and decide if those rules still apply or where the line is now. We had a smallpox epidemic around the turn of the 20th century, and so there's a famous Supreme Court case that comes out of that dealing with the government's power to require everyone to be vaccinated. In some ways, those cases feel a little rusty. They feel a little old. Courts aren't always sure how much they should apply them in this context. But Connick says they know they have a case and will be filing preliminary injunctions and temporary restraining orders soon to try and expedite some answers for the restaurants. Ultimately, he says they want potential criminal charges removed and more clarity. We want our uh, clients to be able to operate normally and, and not be subject to criminal liability uh, for doing so, or alternatively, legislate any of these restrictions in a more definable way in restaurants and bars, know exactly what they do need to do and what exactly will happen if they don't do that. Will you? That is not the case right now. Three news.